Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Quincy. I'm the founder of Good Looking AI, and today's video is going to be perfect for those who are experiencing errors when trying to add custom knowledge base to their VAPI assistants. Depending on when you're watching this video, I recently dropped a guide on how to add custom knowledge base to your VAPI assistants. But with VAPI's recent updates, a lot of people have been experiencing 400 errors when trying to upload their knowledge base to VAPI. So I wanted to record another video and provide an alternative solution so that we can directly upload our files to Treve and then import them into VAPI so that you can get up and running again, implementing these knowledge bases into your VAPI assistants. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so depending on when you're watching this video, the first method that I'm about to walk you through may work, but at the time of this recording, uh, there's been a lot of people experiencing errors getting the 400 status and I kind of just wanted to walk us through uh, what we're experiencing when we follow VAPI's documentation to add this custom knowledge. So right now I'm on my assistance page and I'm going to be adding knowledge to Eve. And if you look right here, I have no knowledge base added in, but I do have my file uploaded, right? So if we navigate to VAPI's documentation, and we follow their steps. We want to upload the file, which I've already done. And then it also says to use this uh, snippet of code in order to create the knowledge base uh, to VAPI, right? So I'm going to follow these steps and let's just see what happens when we do this. So I'm just going to copy this part right here. I'm going to navigate to Postman so that we can make a HTTP request and try to post this, create this in our VAPI assistant. So I'm going to click on body, change this to raw. I'm going to paste this in right here and I'm going to delete this right here. So this looks like that. Now I'm going to change this to post. We navigate to, <clears throat> we navigate to VAPI's uh, API reference. I hit the list files and we can see that we're actually getting the file that I have set up, which is the med small promotion, right? But if we try to uh, hit this route, so I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste this in right here. I'm gonna add in my auth token. And in the body, I wanna change the field IDs to match the field ID that I have in my file right here. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste this in right here to the field ID. And then lastly, we need the URL. So I'm just gonna copy this. Paste this in right here. Now, essentially what this is doing, this is going to uh, upload our file to Treve through VAPI. And that's pretty much what's happening when we're making this request. So I'm going to hit send. It looks like everything's all good, but let me just change his name to Medspa. Provost. Okay, so if you look right here, we're getting a status code of 400. So it was unsuccessful. And it says invalid knowledge base details, error creating Treve dataset. So as I mentioned before, when we make this post request to VAPI, they're essentially trying to upload our file to Treve through their platform. But with VAPI's recent updates, there's a lot of bugs on their, VAP, uh, on their backend, which is outside our control. So an alternative solution is if we navigate back to uh, VAPI's documentation. So if we click on this integration with Treve, it provides us a way on how we can just upload our files directly to Treve instead of having VAPI do that for us. So I'm gonna walk us through this scenario so that we can get your files uploaded to your VAPI assistant and you can use, the, use it as knowledge base. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is, 
what we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna we're gonna navigate to Treve and we're gonna create a new data set. So when you're on the Treve page, uh, you should already have an account if you've been trying to add knowledge base. But if you don't, create an account or log in. And once you're logged in, you'll be taken to your dashboard. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add, we're gonna create a new data set. So we wanna click on right here, create data set. You wanna give the data set a name. I'm gonna name mine's MedSpa. And then I'm gonna create a new data set. And then we're gonna be taken to this page and we're gonna be given the data set ID, right? And we're gonna to need to use this later on when we try to uh, import our file into, uh, I'm sorry, import our knowledge base into VAPI. It'll make more sense as we move through the steps. But what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna click on create new key. I'm gonna name mine's MedSpa. Generate a new key. You're gonna copy this. You're gonna navigate back to VAPI. You're gonna click on your email below, provider credentials. We wanna to navigate to the Treve component and we're gonna paste in our, our um, API key. So I'm gonna edit this, I'm gonna paste it in right here. Hit save. And we should be good to go there. Now, what we wanna do is let's navigate back to the documentation. So the next step is to upload. We wanna upload a file. So we're gonna upload our file directly to Treve as I mentioned earlier. So let's head back to Treve. And let's upload file. We're gonna click on this. And I have my med spa promotion right here. So I'm gonna click on this one and open. And we're gonna click on upload and chunk files. Okay, so it says that the file has been successfully uploaded. So we're good. Now, just to kind of verify that we have indeed uploaded the file, we can navigate to uh, Treve's API reference. So when you're on the dashboard, you can click on API docs and it will take you to this page. And then you're going to scroll down and we want to uh, get file get files for data set. So we're gonna make a Git request and we want to just make sure that the file that we just uploaded to Treve is indeed there. So we're gonna click on this one, which is already open right now. Click try it. And then right here, we want to add in our API key. Right here. So I'm gonna paste this in. And then we need the TR data set. So TR data set is gonna be right here. And then paste this one in as well. And then same right here, the data set ID and the TR data set is the same. And just to kind of show you guys, just to verify that. So TR data set 649, data set ID 649. So yeah, it's the same. Now we are going to, <clears throat> we're gonna hit send. We can see right here that we got a status of two okay. So there is a file name of MedSpa promotions that we just uploaded to tree. Perfect. So now to finally import this file into, <clears throat> sorry, into VAPI, my throat is <clears throat> messed up right now. Sorry guys. But to import this file into VAPI, we're going to navigate back to the documentation and we can see that we can use this snippet of code. So we have this JSON. So let's copy this. Let's go back to Postman. Let's delete all this. And let's paste that in right here. And then let's rename this. I'm gonna name mine to Metspa. And then 
we also want to add in our true dataset ID. So I'm going to navigate back to <clears throat> navigate back to Treve, copy this dataset ID, go back to Postman, and then I'm going to just replace it right here. And let's make this request just to make sure that we're hitting the right route. So we want to create knowledge base and we have a post and it's this rep right here. So for slash knowledge base, for slash knowledge base. So it looks good. So now let's hit send. And we got a 201 created. So it successfully went through and we can see it's the med spa. Now let's navigate back to our assistant and let's just ver <clears throat> sorry, verify that we can actually assign this knowledge base to our assistant. So I'm navigate to assistant, Eve. And then we can see right here we have Metzball. Now lastly, I just want to test it out to make sure that it can actually read the, the, the text in the file, in the knowledge base. So let's just publish this real quick and then test it out. Thanks for calling MedSpa. How can I help you today? Hi, do you guys offer first-time discounts to clients? Yes, we do offer a first-time client discount. New clients can enjoy a 20 to 30% discount okay. on their first service. All right, so it looks like it's working good. All right, guys, if you made it to the very end, hopefully you've been successfully able to add the custom knowledge base again back into your Vapi assistance. I know it was very frustrating to just keep running into these 400 errors. So hopefully this was a good solution for you. And if you found any value out of this video, please do me a favor, please like, comment, and subscribe as it helps me stay motivated to keep pumping out this type of content. With that said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.